All right, guys, in this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the atomic mass when you're given the isotope's mass and their relative abundance, and vice versa. Uh, so let's start off with this question. It says, two stable naturally occurring isotopes of chlorine-35 and chlorine-37 have masses 34.9685 atomic mass unit and 36.9659 atomic mass unit, respectively. And given the relative abundance of the heavier isotope, which is 24.23%, uh, per, uh, and you have to figure out the atomic mass. Okay, well, uh, let me just write down the formula to calculate the atomic mass. So your atomic mass, when you try to figure out from the isotopes, is going to be the mass of isotope 1 times the relative abundance, so let's say times the relative abundance of isotope 1 plus the mass of isotope 2 times the relative abundance of isotope 2. Okay, and then I can just keep going on depending on how many isotopes you have. So if you have a third isotope, you would have the mass of third isotope times the relative abundance of the third isotope and so on. So if you're given the masses and the relative abundance, it's easier to figure out atomic mass, and that's exactly what we have in this particular question. But then these questions could be manipulated where they may give you the atomic mass and they ask you for either the masses of the isotopes or the relative abundance of the isotopes given one of them will be provided to you guys. So there's if you think about it, there's technically three variables or three different types of variables. It could be the atomic mass or the masses of the isotopes or the relative abundance. So you could be given any two of them and you would be asked for the third one. So it's more or less like in a mathematical problem once you figure out what's given and what you have to find out. Okay, well in this particular case I have chlorine 35. Okay, the chlorine 35 mass is going to be 34.9689. And then I also have chlorine 37, and the mass of chlorine 37 is 36.9659. And then I'm given the relative abundance of the heavier isotope, which is 24.23%. And uh, make sure you can convert this to in a decimal form. Uh, when you get rid of the percentage, all you really got to have to do is just divide by 100, so it's going to be 0.2423, okay? Well, I'm not given the relative abundance for the chlorine 35, and is that going to be a problem to figure out? Well, the answer is no, because we have only two isotopes there, and if you're given the percentage of one of them, you can easily figure out the other one. So to figure out the other one, I can just subtract from 1, so it's going to be a 1 minus 0.2423, and that's going to be 0.7577. Okay, so now I actually know everything, all right? So let's just uh, figure out the atomic mass of the chlorine. So let's, it's going to be the mass of isotope 1. The mass of isotope 1 is 34.9689 times the relative abundance, which is going to be 0.7577, okay, so that's your isotope 1, and then plus the mass of isotope 2, which is going to be 36.9659 times uh, the relative abundance of isotope 2, which is going to be 0.2423, okay? And then we'll just got to do this math, so when we do this math, Okay, so let me do that math. It's 34.9689 times 0.7577 plus 36.9659 times 0.2423. And that does come out to be 35.453. Okay, so I'll just keep three decimal places there. So that's going to be the atomic mass of the chlorine. Now, that's one type of question. Sometimes what they do is they actually give you the the isotopes like the chlorine 35 in here and the chlorine 37 and they will provide you the atomic mass of that particular element and they may ask you out of those two isotopes which one is more in nature 
okay? So they're not necessarily asking you to figure out their ratios, but they're just conceptually asking you out of those two, which one is gonna be more in amount. And this can be answered easily by looking at the average mass you just figured out. The average atomic mass of chlorine is 35.453. All you really gotta do is just figure out on which isotope this atomic mass is actually closer to. So this 35.453 is closer to chlorine 35. So this must be the most abundant out of the two isotopes. And it turns out it is actually more abundant than the chlorine 37. Okay, so that's one type of question. Then you could be manipulated the question a little bit and ask it a different way. Let's look at this question. It says lithium has two isotopes, lithium-6, that has the mass given here and lithium-7 that's mass given as well and you have to figure out the relative abundance of the heavier isotope okay so you're not given much information here so let me write down what we got here so we have lithium-6 the mass of lithium-6 is going to be 6.017 and then got lithium-7 the mass of lithium-7 is 7.018 and we are asked to figure out their relative abundance okay well I don't know the relative abundance here and we don't we're not given the mass uh, atomic mass of lithium as well however you can actually look up the atomic uh, the periodic table and figure out what the atomic mass of lithium gonna be uh, so lithium is uh, atomic number three and it's got an atomic mass of uh, 6.94 okay uh, this very well be given to you. If, they are, if it's not given, you can look up in the periodic table and figure out what the atomic mass of the lithium is, and that way you can figure out the relative abundance. Now, just conceptually, out of those two isotopes, we got lithium-6 and lithium-7, which one is going to be more abundant? I'm not asking you to figure out what the percentage is going to be, just conceptually, which one is going to be more abundant? Well, like I said earlier, you can look up the actual atomic mass of lithium, which is 6.94, and then go back and look up their, those two isotopes. So the, the two isotopes we have, lithium-6 and lithium-7, so this 6.94 is actually closer to this lithium-7. So this actually should be more in abundance. So lithium-7 uh, is going to be higher in, their, in the relative abundance than the lithium-6. Okay, so that's the conceptual part of the question, but now how would you figure out the calculate? How would you calculate their percentages? And to figure out their percentages, let's assume the heavier isotope is X percent, okay? And then the lighter isotope would be, in that case, 1 minus X, because remember it has to be a total of 1 in terms of the, the abundant. Okay, so then I know everything, so let's just set it up. So this is going to be 6.94, uh, that's going to be the atomic mass of lithium, that's going to be equal to the mass of isotope 1, which is going to be 6.017, and times 1 minus x, okay, then plus the mass of isotope 2, which is 7.018, times the relative abundance of isotope 2, which is going to be just x. Okay, so now all we really have to do is figure out what x is going to be here. Uh, so 6.017, so you use the FOIL here, this gets multiplied in there, and then this gets multiplied in there, minus 6.017x, and then plus 7.018x here. Okay, so on the other side we have 6.94. So leave the x terms on one side, so I got these two x terms on one side, leave them there. And then get rid of the non-x terms, so I can subtract both sides by 6.07. Okay, so when you do so, let's see what that comes out to be. So I have 6.94 minus 6.017. Okay, so that comes out to be 0.923. And then on the other side, subtract 7.018 minus 6.017. So that comes out to be 1.001x. So when you go ahead and calculate the x, I have to um, divide both sides by 1.001, which may not make a bigger difference, but let's just go ahead and do that. 
So when I subtract both sides by that, it's going to be 0 0.923 divided by 0 1.001. Still going to be 0 0.9. 22. So the x comes out to be 0.922. So now this is this belongs to lithium-7 because remember the x that we assumed earlier was actually the heavier isotope. Okay. So now I know I can go back and figure out the relative abundance of that uh, if this is in the decimal form. So to get the percentage, what do you have to do? You multiply by 100. So I'll do 0.922 times 100, so that's going to be 92.2% lithium-7. So then what's the percentage going to be for the other one? Well, we just got to subtract from 100. So when you subtract from 100, it's going to be about 7.7, well, let's say 7.78% lithium-6. And what we have predicted earlier, we said the lithium-7 should be the most abundant because the actual atomic mass of lithium was 6.94, so it, and it does come out to be 92.2%. All right, so hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions, leave the comments below, and I'll have some more videos.